your student portfolio should have multiple pages. Notice where it says pages in the upper right. I'm going to click on pages and find the plus icon where I can add a new page or I can link to another website. I'm going to click new page and I'm going to call it unit one. And now I have a unit one page that I can organize. Now notice when I hover on the unit one that I have three dots where I can do some options. I can make it my home page, I can duplicate the page, I can add a sub page or hide it from navigation. Let's add a sub page. And so now notice in my navigation up here at the top it says unit one and translation under it. So you're going to need to decide how do you want to organize your Google site to clearly communicate all of your work that you've done in this course that you want to talk about at the end of the semester. This shouldn't be everything that you've done in the class, but rather highlighting your learning and what you want to show off. I'm going to create a new page for Unit 2. And notice now I have Unit 1 and Unit 2 on my Google site where the navigation is automatically created right at the top.